Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'll show you a simple way how you can easily integrate Salesforce with Airtable or Airtable with Salesforce. And to do that, first you need to scroll down below to the description and click on the link. When you're going to click on the link, you will get right here to make.com. Make.com is an amazing company that's going to help us combine Airtable with Salesforce or whatever app you want. Uh, like make.com is a top notch, I believe that. You can have free account and really great customer service to that too. Here you're going to have, uh, when you're going to create account, first thing first, you're going to be in scenarios and go to top right and create new scenario. Then click plus here, add a search and write here air table. So now let's say when we're going to create a record, update the record. So you're going to choose what will, what is going to happen. So I'll click create a record. I'm going to choose account here. So I'll click add and you have to add an epi token. So you'll just find it. Yeah, we need to find an Epi account. So you just have to, I'll just skip this up. Account overview, all right. So you go to top right, account, then overview, and generate Epi key. Okay, I'll copy it. Now I will go simply to uh, my own, where I have it, yep, here, save. And when you're going to connect, you're going to have the base, like let's say I have a YouTube channel. And then table to do. So in a moment when something that I'm going to add, uh, like when I'm going to create a record, right here or I can simply choose like whatever you want watch record you choose that but this is how we can look at our table I'll click click here add the module and I will add Salesforce okay and now you can have search for records get a record create a record update a record and let's say we're gonna have a good record again or create a record so when we're gonna create a record in our table automatically we are going to have it also in Salesforce and you need to also uh, like connect it with Salesforce and that's pretty much it how we do it. So thank you very much guys. My recommendation is definitely go to templates. You can also run it once to test it out. You can have the schedule settings there, how often you want to run the scenario. And then you can go simply to templates and here you can add Airtable. And you can also use uh, the like automations here. And that's pretty much it. So thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.